Hey, this is Overpass Insights. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today, I am Eric the Computer Guy. So the other day I was approached by a neighbor who I don't know that well, but I was getting out of my car, uh, just about to go into the house and he came up and said, uh, excuse me, Eric, um, I wonder if you could help me with something. My daughter's computer is not starting and she's really freaking out about it. Uh, she's got all of her work on there. She's got all of her, her images and it's just, you know, it won't start. We've been trying for the last few days and just wondering if you could come over and have a look at it, right? And my first thought is, why why are you asking me like i yeah i'm a i'm a software developer i'm not a hardware guy uh but then i remember the the previous conversation where we had where where, where we met each other and i said uh, so what do you do and i said i'm an app developer right and he says oh is that computers and i said yes right and it's funny you may get this a lot too like throughout my whole career i get asked by a lot of computer questions like how to map a printer, how to how to boot up a computer and everything, which is not in my area at all, right? Because to us software developers, we know our different roles and we kind of know what the specialties are. We know like, okay, so, you know, he's a server developer, he's a web developer, he's a, uh, you know, he's a PHP developer, we go really specific, he's a database administrator, but to the outside world, just computer guy, right? So, so... Sometimes I'll actually most of the times because I'm too nice. I'll just say Yeah, I'll go have a look at it right in the past. I have built computers before back in like Ages ago. I haven't done it for a long time Right, but here's something about being a software developer is a lot of times you can still fix these issues Not because you know the hardware not because you know all this kind of stuff because I, I just think as software developers We're so used to problem-solving and a lot of times we'll dig a little bit deeper than other people will right We'll start to look at things from a logical point of view like problem just general problem-solving which I think okay So what is this problem? Is it is it hardware or is it software? Is it could it be caused by network issues like with our apps? It's like could it be caused by network issues? Could we be out of disk space? Could it be a disk corruption you know which tools can we run what kind of diagnostics can we run and sometimes we could fix it just by general problem solving and sometimes we can't right uh and uh it's funny when you can't solve it and they just see you as computer guy they're thinking he must not be very good at his job but i was like you know try to help out a little bit but it's like through my whole career i've gotten that i've had people come up to me ask me like uh like neighbors and and just people that i know like it you know uh, friends of uh, like parents of uh, my kids, friends, right, come up to me and say stuff like, oh, you know, I took these pictures and I got all these red eye in it. Do you know how to get red eye out of pictures? I was like, dude, it's not my area. It's not my area, but, you know, I would Google it, right? So anyway, it's funny. I wanted I wanted to, to talk about this today because it happens quite a lot, uh, and it's probably happened to some of you guys too. So, you know, share any stories that you get about that. Uh, I mean, when it's your kids, that's different. When it's your family, you're the guy who goes in and, 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 helps them troubleshoot these issues but you know it's like the general but it's like it's not nearly as bad i imagine plumbers and and people with like real like manly skills i'm sure they get this a lot more than than software developers do but uh have you ever experienced this kind of thing and for those of you guys going into software development and you're just getting started get used to that because you know that kind of stuff happens from time to time so even no, no matter how specific you are when you tell people what you do anyway let me know what you guys think have you experienced that and that's it for today. I'll talk to you guys again next time.